Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Joey Logano's Shell Pennzoil Gateway win for 2022. As always, take a quick look at the box. Once again, you just have the generic box with the race winning sleeve. We're so close to getting those 2023 boxes that are back to actual window boxes. But anyways, they made a total of 187 of these things. Here is the car itself. Just the beautiful primary for Logano. It is kind of funny that honestly Logano has, there's something different about every single one of his race wins last year. Because you have the Clash win, which was the original version of the paint scheme that they changed later. The Darlington win was obviously the Darlington throwback. This one was the regular primary. Then Vegas in the fall was the special Vegas Pennzoil paint scheme. And then of course the championship win car was this car, but with the playoff markings. So there's something different for all five of his wins the wind die cast last year. I think that's kind of cool. Anyways, of course, it's come with a few things. You have your certificate of authenticity. You have your race winning stat card. Nice picture of the car in the background there. What hat is he wearing? Ticket smarter? Huh. That's a random hat to put on the photo. <laughs> Do you have all your stats and stuff? Also, of course, does come with your race winning sticker. If you're into that. But anyways, let's get down to the car itself. Said Logano continues his masterful winning the first race of things. <laughs> as long as it's not road courses. He doesn't win the first races at road courses, but he has won the first race at, you know, multiple races now. Said, watch out for Logano at North Wilkesboro for the All-Star race. Since that's the first All-Star race in North Wilkesboro and the first race back in, you know, like 30 years. So guess watch for him there. <laughs> This was a really good race. Like, it had a really good finish. A nice, clean battle between Logano and Kyle Busch in the Snickers car. Said so after you had, you know, after the Darlington thing, you had some people that were like, Logano can't even win clean, which he has like 30 wins, so what the hell are you talking about? But, and then he immediately wins a race by being clean, so, huh. <laughs> and Kyle Busch, if him, that's the even funnier thing, that who would have ever expected Logano and Kyle Busch to race each other cleanly for a win? But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Pennzoil and Shell. Got Ford Mustang number 22. Down the side, you have Pennzoil and Shell. Got AAA and Auto Trader back there. Got Discount Tire on the C post. On the B post, you have Ford, PPG, Mazak, and Coca-Cola. Got your two winner stickers right there from the Clash and then the Darlington Race. Has your regular contingencies and such up front. Why does it look so dark? There's a bunch of light here. I don't know if it's just my camera right now, but it looks dark to me for some reason. Anyways, on the back of the car, you got Shell and Pennzoil. You got 22 crew. Got the Ford Michigan license plate in number 22. Got Shell Pennzoil again on the deck lid and Snap-on on the roof. This is number 84. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you got powered by Ford and Shell Pennzoil under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. This is an Elite, so the deck lid does open. And you can see your typical fuel cell and such back there. Roof flaps, of course, do open. Once again, there are the holes for the antennas if you want to put them in there. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. But now let's get down to the damage and such. This car has a few little marks and stuff, but it's nothing too dirty. So you see the front end being a yellow car, you can see a ton of the dirt and rubber buildup and everything. There's a nice sprinkling of confetti. This is honestly the kind of confetti that I like on a car. Where there's enough confetti, you can tell it's a race for it, and you can see the confetti, but it's not really like covering anything or really messing with anything. There's even confetti on the splitter. That's cool. You see there's a little bit of a lettering is a little bit rubbed off on the tire. Once again, shiny chrome rims, which unlike the Darlington, this one had chrome rims. This is supposed to have the chrome rims. Like I said in that video, it's really weird that they just refuse to even, like, put rubber buildup or tire or dirt or anything on the rims. They just leave them clean. Anyways, down the side, you have your little exhaust decals and such. You got a bright orange jack marker. You see, again, just, like, some little marks and stuff. Some tire, some rubber, some dirt, all that. Back bumpers, again, has some rubber buildup and such. Looks like you got hit a couple times. You see the left rear is like nice and dirty. Looks like you got side drafted or, you know, hit at least once during the race. You can see the left rear tire is actually shredded. 
It's the first time we've seen a shredded tire on a next-gen car. I was kind of curious if they were still going to be able to do that or if that was going to be one of those things where they're like, oh, well, because of the new mold, we can't shred the tire anymore. But luckily they can. That's nice to see. So you got a nice big donut on the door. Well, it's on the side skirt. I don't know if that's even coming across on camera, but there's like a nice little like donut mark right there. I'm not entirely sure who that was from. I don't think him and Kyle really... Did him and Kyle ever really touch? They might have touched once. I don't know. Maybe that's from Kyle. And that's about it for race wind damage. Like I said... Not the most dirty car. This car is just more for the fact that it's the first gateway race. And again, it's kind of, you know, if you want a raced version of this paint scheme for Logano, that's not, you know, just a regular version, not a playoff version and not the, you know, original version of the car that the Clash version gave us. But here it is next to the 164 scale. Said just a solid race one for Logano. Nothing too special here, but this is definitely probably going to be the most easy to get to win of the whole season for Logano. Because, like, the Darlington wins a unique paint scheme, the Vegas wins a unique paint scheme, the championship wins the championship win, and then the Clash win is a unique version of the primary. But this one's just the standard primary, so if one of these cars for his championship year doesn't get rare, I'd probably expect it to be this one, but who knows? Because so far, the Clash win's gotten a little bit rare. The Darlington win is straight up disappearing already. So we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, I'm sure the Vegas win being the special Pennzoil paint scheme will probably get rare, and then... The championship wins sometimes don't get rare immediately, but the race wins eventually get rare. Pretty much every single one of them has. So, who knows? If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. And if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. So, go check that out if you want anything. But I think that's all there is to say. This has been a review of Joey Logano's Shell Pennzoil Gateway win for 2022. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.